Hey, it's been like few days since I've talked about the iPhone SE that should be showcased as early as this March or April or spring. One of the most reliable sources in the industry has just made one more revelation, this time allegedly confirming the bigger version of SE iPhone. And oh boy, let's talk about it. Hi friends and welcome to this Mocking channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is sponsored by Blackbeard Hosting, so 13 seconds promo and let's go. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24-7 customer support, real people. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed with digital marking code you get 5% off Blackbeard Hosting. CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, Ross Young, has once again dropped his set of leaks, now sharing more detailed information about something that should become the real next iteration of the iPhone SE. Let me explain. We all know that what is coming in the following few months will be a legit 2020 model successor, which means identical design, as well as what we all heard from multiple sides, a processor upgrade to A14 Bionic most likely, as well as the 5G modem, which is why 2020 version will likely carry plus designation, even if in its core it's actually the iPhone SE 3. I guess this mystery is now officially debunked. These are not two different iPhones that we have thought. This is one device. Every time when we hear another redesigned model with bigger display, we were actually informed about the fourth generation of the iPhone SE. Imagine that. I'm confused. In one of his most recent tweets, Ross Young revealed that there will indeed be a model with bigger display, debating between 5.7 and 6.1 inch screen. This was in line with few reports made by other renowned industry insiders. Nevertheless, Ross seems certain that 5.7 inch variant will be the one that will be used in this model. This opens doors to something else. You see, back in 2020, after the SE2 introduction, we were bombarded about the Plus edition of the SE, which could have been the iPhone 8 Plus equivalent with a home button and 5.5 inch display. Afterwards, the Plus has been clarified as the old style model with 5G support, while the one after may borrow 6.1 inch diagonal or something similar to the iPhone XR or iPhone 11. We are constantly getting back to the idea that Apple will just use the old designs for the next iteration products. Every new entry-level iPad will inherit the full factor of the iPad Air. The original SE was the shadow of at the moment vintage design with 2020 model doing exactly the same, paying respect to previous generation of flagships. The iPad 9, for example, did come out and it still remained at 10.2 inch diagonal and its own specific thickness. While I'm not saying that we may not see 10.5 inch update on the iPad, because in a matter of fact, I did say it, did say it. It doesn't mean they will dig out some abandoned stash of the old iPad Air 3 cases. We may truly get the new stuff. The same thing with the SC at one point. Maybe Apple will indeed give us the new design. And this is how the iPhone SE with a 5.7 inch display fits into the story. And should I run through the details? The Touch ID will likely in the power button, since there will be no physical home key, not anymore. This will not be a flagship, so you will probably have to forget about the Face ID as well. Sorry, times two. So we're now heading to some new territory, likely up until the release of the iPhone 14 Pro lineup, never before seen a punch hole display on the iPhone. And oh man, if they use this current sharp edge full factor, I'll be soul sold. Who gives a shit about the OLED? 
What do you guys think about this? Would this design for the SC be a tempting for you? Please answer below. Ross Young suggests the new, bigger version of the SC product line will be showcased around 2023 or maybe even 2024. And guess what? In one of his earlier tweets, he did mention a punch hole design on the LCD iPhone next year. That's all for me. I hope you had fun watching this. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Don't forget to check the links in the description. Besides some offers and discounts, you may find a few Apple products and accessories there as well. Thank you so much for watching this Tomaking channel. Thank you so much to Blackbeard Hosting for sponsoring this video. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.